Memorial Day weekend. Been kind of stuck in the house, but Penny wanted to get out. And she decided she wanted to go to Southern Missouri. She wanted to go down and see Falling Springs and Turner's Mill. So this is our trip down. Come on along, check it out. With all the back roads and forestry roads and other roads that are available for us to travel down in Southern Missouri, you know I'm not staying on the highway any more than what I have to. For me, half the fun of going to Southern Missouri is roads like this. Get you away from the crowd. That's what I like. Of course, we all got to use the highways. This is an overlook that is actually west of Alley Springs. We pulled in there and we started talking about how pretty this has to be in the fall. Definitely be back when the colors are on. Even with all the times we've been to Alley Springs, you can't drive by without at least taking a little bit of time to get out and check it out. I stayed back at Jeep while Penny walked up to see it one more time. It is a beautiful place. You need to see it if you haven't. Most people that are familiar with the area, when you say Blue Springs, this isn't the place they think of. This is Blue Springs Recreational Area over by Mountain View, Missouri. Penny just walked out of two National Forest campsites that nobody's in. This is Memorial Day weekend and look how few people are down here on this gravel bar. I'm betting you in the fall this is a beautiful spot. Unfortunately, like many in the area, we suffered by the tornadoes and high winds and thunderstorms and hail that was coming through. We didn't receive any damage. We did ride out a pretty bad storm. This is some of the storm damage we saw the next day. We'd heard some pretty sad stories about people losing campers and other stuff that was down along some of the streams that couldn't get out with the water coming up too fast. As we headed for our first destination of the day, which was Falling Springs, we run into a lot of flooded roads. I'm not normally too concerned about them. We do a lot of deep water crossings. On this day, I would not have recommended too many people coming through the water that's to the east of Falling Springs. But if you come down to see this and you're not in a high clearance, the creek's always up and running there every time I've been there. You can come in off Highway 19 and it's not a bad gravel road to get you there at all. You ought to come down and check it out. Penny wanted to snap a few pictures and play with some different settings on her camera to see what she could get. As we continued our route, we went by this old home. I thought it was pretty cool. But this stone wall along the field really got me thinking. I know there was both Union and Confederate armies in this area, and their soldiers are buried all over the place. Wonder if any of them ever took shelter behind this wall, or maybe just used it to take a break and eat their rations. Time to confess how many other people are looking over there to see if they can see an old trout swimming along. Man, it makes me think a fishing pole could be a lot of fun here. Some closely, listen closely, wise words. 
This is the water wheel at Turner's Mill. This is on the north side of the river. So if you're looking to see this, make sure that's the side you come to. It's a very peaceful place. After leaving the mill, we done what we do and enjoy quite often. We just started taking different roads, heading in the general direction of where we wanted to go. And really, we had no place that we had to be or really wanted to be. We was just starting to work our way home. We found some really neat places and enjoyed our day together. Thanks for coming along and hope to meet you on the trail someday.